Hey Leo, it's your girl Randy. Welcome back. If you're new, hello. This is your general reading. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What it is you may need to know. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. When you see something, I feel like you're about to step out of the dark, out of a haze, out of a confusion. I feel like you've been in one. Alright, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Remember, everything comes in seasons, man. Not everyone's chipper all the time. <laughs> you gotta take the path and heal. Okay, Leo. What's some energy Leo needs to know about? The chicken and the cat. <laughs> it's almost like the, <laughs> the chickens had authority over the cat because that's been in your head. When the cat really is usually the one chasing the chicken. Alright, let's see. Stay with me, Leo. Just give me a moment, please. <laughs> so the untamed, self-ownership and watching, and ancient past and lore. Right. It's like you're watching the things that have entangled in your life here. Kind of self-assessing. Obviously, I mean, you're here on tarot. So you're self-assessing your, like, karmic ties, uh, the people, your um, self-sabotaging ways. However that fits for you. You're really looking at them. You're no longer going to let the chicken chase the cat. The cat's going to chase the chicken. Natural order here. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Like I said, pre-shuffle, it's like you were stepping out of your cave, right? No longer going to be uh, scared. You're going to, like, take the birthright of the black cat and chase that damn chicken. <laughs> the chicken's not going to chase you. Chicken is just a chicken. That cat has claws, it has teeth, has natural agility, you know. Hi! Leo, someone rising in Venus. Tell me about them, please. Tell me about them. What's going on with them, their energies? Okay, the hanged man. Right. The Hanged Man and the Four of Swords. So like I said in the beginning, it's like you've put yourself in a timeout here. Uh, kind of confused, healing, battle weary, trying to uh, really self-assess, really trying to gain that enlightenment and that new perspective so you have stepped away from some things, Leo. Okay. It's sort of like a retreat. Like I said, you're, you're like stepping back into the light now. This is you presently. You're going to realize that you're a black cat. You can claw that chicken to pieces. You're going to gain that perspective. There's a much needed rest apparently, a time, a little break from battling. Okay. What's the outside influence? Whether that be job, love, life. What's the outside influence for Leo, please? What's the outside influence for Leo, please? Be five of wands in reverse. That's good. No more competition, no more battles in the King of Cups. So as an energy, it's you no longer being in battle with your spirit and your emotions, right? No longer letting those outer influences take a hold of you or a person, whatever. You're really gaining um, emotional maturity is what I keep hearing. Emotional enlightenment, emotional maturity, not letting these emotions cause conflict anymore. Really trying to get a hold of them, trying to see a different path. Like I said, you're going to become the cat that chases the chicken, no longer the chicken chasing the cat. Because that's what the energy I feel over here, if that makes sense to anyone. Right? I have the tower on the bottom of the deck. 
that's an epiphany as well. Something's going to happen that puts you back into that, you know, takes you out of this uh, rest in your cave, not speaking to people, hermity kind of energy, because you're going to gain the enlightenment that you are this black cat. You're not the chicken. You're the black cat. And the black cat's going to turn around and it's going to chase his chicken. You're no longer going to let people, places, and things dictate your outcomes. That's this epiphany. That's the tower. Okay? Something comes to your attention and brings you out of this rest mode. All right. What's the advice for Leo, please? What's the advice for Leo? Yeah, no, no more mental and... Uh, manipulation no more uh letting your emotions override you okay what is the advice for leo please one more what is the advice for leo please what what the star uh she wanted to about earlier so your advice is two major arcanas with the sun you showing up on the deck right Really becoming happy again, really being at peace and um, balance, stepping back out into the world after that break, after that perspective, right? Being noticed for your hard work, okay? Going uh, somewhere sunny, uh, just balance. I keep hearing balance and rest and renewal, realizing who you are. No longer letting your emotions or someone who's manipulatively, emotionally manipulative control that anymore. You're realizing you are the black cat. Okay. You are going to come back into divine balance with yourself. Because after the tower comes the star. So after that epiphany is the healing, hope, and renewal. And with the sun on the bottom of the deck, you have already gained what you need. Okay. So we have temperance, the star... I want to get this right on the screen. We have temperance, the star, and the sun. So we have night and day. You're switching from night to day. You're no longer going to be the chicken. I meant the cat being chased by the chicken. You're going to be the cat chasing that damn chicken. Right? You're totally switching up here. You're coming out of the dark. You're stepping out of that cave. You have, you know, healed. You've realized what can be done, what cannot be done. Really seeking the balance that you need in your life. Okay. And having the energy to do so with the Knight of Wands here. You have the Knight of Wands, which is passion. It's messaging. It's creativity. It's speaking about what you want. It's putting those plans in emotion about what you want. So you're, I feel like this dude is staring down the, the person that's made you think that you were... Scared of this chicken. It's like. Alright. I've rested. I'm leaving that old skin behind. Almost like shedding. And I'm coming out of the cloud. Really going to pour into myself now. I'm not going to pour into this emotionally manipulative energy. And I'm going to step back into the sunlight. You know. It's a yin and yang scenario but in the dark now you're coming to light really balancing really figuring out what it is that you needed to do all right no longer being trapped in your own uh, mental prisons no longer letting anyone else trap you in those mental prisons leo leo sun moon rising and venus that's your advice to gain balance to step back out and not worry about what others say and take the knowledge that you've gained. So we have a realization card for you. That is the key. That is a doorway. And again, dark into light. I keep feeling that. Like stepping out. Dark into light. It's a self-realization card. You've had a realization. You are beautiful. You are loved. You're releasing that fear. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love this. So number three, celebration. I almost feel like Alice in Wonderland here stepping through this doorway. Books. You may read something that really helps you give this realization of who you are. You know what I mean? 
who the hell you are. Not letting whatever this is manipulate you anymore. What else does Leo need to know, please, Spirit? What else does Leo need to know? What's on the floor? Okay. Right, releasing allegiances. Number 10. Releasing things that no longer work for you and really coming into balance for yourself here. It's 10. 10 has a lot, a lot. So, where's my wand? I'm going to put realization and self allegiance by each other. So, it's time to hold on to yourself and let go of another. Even if it's just for a time, you have gained all that was meant to be from that connection. So this could be the connection. Manipulation, you know what I mean? Remember, you're the black cat. Uh, the need to let go does not deny the value of what has been acquired. It's more that the time has come for greater productivity, creativity, abundance, and consciousness in your life. Right. Being consciously aware a self-realization. You have completed many cycles in the vibrational frequency of consciousness that you are now being asked to release. You have been in that vibration frequency for some time now. Right? That's what I'm saying over here. You have earned the right to step out of that frequency, out of the habits, relationships, and possibilities that are limited to that outmoded frequency. It's now time to expand into a higher experience, uh, frequency of experience that will bring enhanced love, empowerment, and peace into your life. You will take that wisdom of what you've learned into something new, right? The old and the new. I love how this always works out. Uh, da, da, da. New connections, new relationships, new life experiences, and a higher turn in the spiral of life. But first, focus to you. Trust that you can step into the solitude for a while without being consumed by loneliness. Don't be consumed by the lonely feeling. It's time to reconnect with yourself. Perhaps you've had a period of outward orientation where your energy has been diverted away from you and your inner journey. And that's what this whole reading is, man. It's time for self-love and paying attention to yourself, for nurturing, holding, and being with you. It doesn't mean you can't love another. You're just releasing this. That's what you're doing. You will know which is which is because you will feel it. You will feel it most clearly when you have some time to be with yourself and reconnect because you're releasing your, these energies here. You've been contemplating a change in your lifestyle, maybe enrolling in a class or joining a group, starting a project, or setting aside time to focus on your inner work. This oracle comes as a confirmation that these things would be supportive, healthy, and helpful for you. It's an oracle that comes with particular guidance. There's a situation that has recently arisen or will rise soon where you need to back yourself. Don't be put upon a hoodwink. And don't back down. Don't let this chicken make you forget you're a cat. That's what this is saying. You have a lucky escape from a situation that would have ended up unnecessarily costing you. Either way, backing yourself and not giving in to the opinion of another um, is important. It's highly likely that you are breaking with tradition, with a role or a belief system that you have now outgrown. That's the realization. You are the damn cat. You are not the chicken. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. And if you want a personal reading, the information is down below. All right, and I'll catch you later.